Hello, we are here at the Lincoln Mill in Situate, Mass. tonight. Uh, legend has it that Abraham Lincoln's great, great, great grandfather built this mill in 1691 and a little girl drowned in a pond across the street. And ever since then, residents have reported seeing the ghost of this little girl haunting this mill. Residents have claimed to have seen her in the windows scratching at the glass. So we're out here tonight to see what we can come up with. No, it looks like a, a rocking chair hung on a 2x4 up there, I think. So far, I don't see anyone in the window yet. Yeah, usually uh, spirits dwell <coughs> where they were last deceased. Yes. So we're going to try to make contact tonight and see what we can do. So I'm thinking maybe this girl is dwelling here on this property. Anything on the EMF meter yet? No, yet. 66 degrees. Oh, well, now it's going crazy. 0 0.3, 0 0.5, 0 0.9, yeah, 0 0.3. Yeah, 0 0.2. 65.8 now. Just gonna walk down the steps. And out tonight with us is Lisa. So right now the river is dry. But I imagine that years ago the river ran through here. Yep, this river is all dried out. 64.2. Oh wow. I'm gonna go into here real fast. Is there anyone here that wants to communicate with me? I'm aware of your accident. Not bad. Did you not learn how to swim? Wow, this is pretty good. I wonder where this leads to. me across the street so I think this is the pond over here and it uh, dried up and there was a river that ran through here and underneath this tunnel Hello? Hey Gary. So it goes underneath the mill and across, there's a tunnel that goes across the street where the river used to run for. When you were down there, right? Yeah. When you said, um... Whoa! You said wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. I hear something. Hello? Might have been one of the rocks falling Sound like a crashing noise. When you say, is there anyone here? Yeah. When you were in there, this thing figure went crazy, dude. It dropped two and a half points. Huh. Yeah. I mean, this thing was freaking going crazy. Alright, you're free to say anything you want. Try communicating with us. Maybe give us a sign that your presence is here with us. Can you tell us what was so special about this place? And why you decided to haunt this place for so many years? Did a family member work here?
you hear? I don't know, it sounded like brush. Like someone walking through brush. I came over there and went down to really? 59.3, yeah. Somebody walking through the brush? Yeah, but there's no one here, so... So we just heard what sounded like scratching at the door. Someone trying to get out or something. There ain't nobody here, so... Are you here? With us, can you make that sound again? So the scratching sound kind of sounded like a, like that, didn't it? Yeah, kind of like someone trying to claw their way out. And residents have reported seeing a little girl scratching at the windows. I'm gonna knock. You're free to knock back. The meter is fluctuating. Hello? Is there anyone in there? Can you show yourself? So far, nothing yet tonight. Oh, yeah. So I'm thinking we can leave the recorder down walk away and we'll check out the pond across the street where she drowned. Sounds good. So I'm gonna leave this down right here. Okay. We're gonna walk away. So the tunnel I was in goes all the way across the street to this pond over here. Which actually looks dried up now. So you know what? It's all grass. You can probably walk through there. Yeah, yeah let's walk through it and try to make connection with her. Yeah, we could. Yeah, there's the tunnel right there. Yeah, here's the tunnel right here. I came out this end. Oh, wow. So here's part of the pond right here. The rest of it is all dried up. Was there anyone watching you swimming? Is this the part of the pond you drowned in? Are you at peace or do you need our help? Can you speak to us? Tell us what you need or what you want? Can you give us a sign that you're here? The pond is dried up now, so you can actually walk towards me if you want. Can you walk towards us? So we're going to go use the spirit box in the tunnel over here. So Paul's legs are too short to fight over the boys. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hello? Oh my god, Paul, you're never going to believe this. What? The river just filled back up. What? How the hell did that happen? I will do I shit you not. 
there and there's nothing there. Guys, never gonna believe this. Oh, shit. This river is like three feet deep. Are you trying to hurt me? Somebody just threw a rock. Hello? Heard a noise. What does it sound like? E. Like a struggle? Yes. Came from here. Came from in here? That's weird. All right, so we left the EVP recorded down, so we're gonna go listen to it and see what we picked up. What? Hold up, Lisa. What's up, Paul? You can't put stuff in the freaking bush, but there's nothing there. Yeah, I'll give you my EMF meter. I'm gonna go down there with Lisa. All right, you're not gonna need it? No. Yeah? Yep. See that? Yep. It's full. It's filling back up. Yep. But 15 minutes ago there was no water. Now there's like three feet of water. Yeah, I mean, I've been here before, and the river was always dried up, always. Same thing with the pond across the street. Can you come out, play, run around? Maybe we could play ball or catch or something? Too bad I don't have any balls in my car. <laughs> play hide and seek? You want to play hide and seek? Lisa, what'd you hear? She made that same voice again. It's a female's voice you're hearing? Yeah. Coming from this tunnel? From the tunnel. You know what? I'm gonna try to go down there again and... Just don't go into the water, please. Oh, I'm not gonna go in the water. So I'm very skeptical about being in this tunnel again. Especially when I felt a rock being thrown at me. I mean, it wasn't thrown at me hard. It just hit my leg. There's something in this tunnel with me that's able to throw things that puts me in danger. Hello? I come in peace. I'm not here to hurt you. I actually just want to talk to you. Maybe we can become friends? This water's filling up very rapidly. Can you give me a sign that you're here? So I'm here walking. 
Sound like someone walking through the river. So I did hear walking sounds. Oh, my meat is going off. Yeah, my meat is going off. Can you show yourself? Just went off again. It went off again, and it feels really cold where I'm at. Like, really cold. Like, I'm getting, like, goosebumps. This is weird. So it's really cold where I'm standing at. Really cold. The meter just keeps going off. It's fluctuating, too. This is weird. This is weird. Paul, I'm getting like a, a strange feeling down here. Yeah, you just say it's really cold down there. Yeah, but it's like a strange feeling. Of, I, I can't describe it. It's not like... It's emotions, but it, it, they feel like good emotions. I, I don't know. I don't know. I just heard a creaking just now. Like a creaking door, but it was like right here and there's nothing here but grass. The going on. Whoa! Are you here with me now? Did you just see that, Lisa, or was it just me? There's a white flash that was flying right back. Whoa, there it is again. Harry. What's up? You got what? There was two white flashes that went that way. Like orbs? No, I mean, it, it was like a line, but a thick line. It freaking beam that way. When I play it back, you better see it. Yeah. That was weird. I, I, I felt all kinds of emotions, but they, they were good emotions, though. I'm actually, like, out of breath from the feeling I was getting. I, I don't know. Maybe she's, cool, though, right? maybe she's trying to give me a sign that she's in a better place. I don't know. Or is that she's okay? Yeah, maybe. Are you trying to tell me you're okay? When I was down there, too, I could hear walking in the water. And that's yeah. when this meter kept going off. Yeah, I told you, I figured I heard walking over there in the bush. Like a wind. Did you have any brothers or sisters? Any kind of siblings? hearing some kind of sounds but it's muffled. Can you tell me how old you were? What were you playing in the water? Were you playing with friends? Were you playing Marco Polo? Sounds like a female voice. I picked up a little girl's voice. Yeah. Yeah. I'll play back the footage and hopefully I'll be able to try and make it out. Can you say that again? So as I get closer to this river, I'm picking up more white noise. That's weird. That twig right there just snapped. It, almost as if someone was stepping on it.
Okay, so I was wrong. I did some research and I found out that the river in Situate goes all the way to Cohasset Harbor, and we were there during high tide, so that would explain why the river was filling up. The river just filled back up! So I think the reason why the spirit of this little girl for the rocket made was not to scare me or to harm me. I think she was trying to warn me to get out of there. Maybe she feels as if I would drown like she did. Whoa. Somebody just threw a rock! So why have residents seen this little girl scratching at the window? Is her soul not at rest? Is she scared? Lonely? Or is she trying to warn people to stay away from the pond? However, me and Paul did hear a scratching noise coming from the door. So we just heard what sounded like scratching at the door. Someone trying to get out or something. Now, twice, Lisa did hear what sounded like a female struggling. Now, does this little girl still think she's trapped underwater? I just heard a noise. What did it sound like? E. Like a struggle? Yes. She made that same voice again. It's a female's voice you're hearing? Yeah. Coming from this tunnel? From the tunnel. So after Lisa heard the struggling noise now coming from the tunnel, I decided to go check it out and I heard what sounded like something walking in the water. So I did hear walking sounds. Now when I was in the tunnel again, the meter did go off and all of a sudden I felt this chill, this cold sensation. And it's almost as if my brain was releasing all these endorphins into my body because I felt these emotions. I really can't explain it. They weren't bad emotions, they were good emotions. It's almost as if she was trying to make me feel what she was feeling, happy and at peace. Maybe she realizes that nothing bad has happened to me and I'm not drowning, and maybe she finally now can move on. Paul, I'm getting like a, a strange feeling down here. Yeah, you just say it's really cold down there. Yeah, but it's like a strange feeling. I, I can't describe it. It's not like... It's emotions, but if they feel like good emotions, I, I don't know. I now, right at that exact moment, Paul caught on his camera a orb beaming across the pond. Let's check that out. I just heard a creaking just now. Like a creaking door, but it was like right here and there's nothing here but grass. Whoa! So where did she go? Now, when we were doing a spirit box session, we did pick up a young female's voice saying, Father. So maybe it's possible that she was now meeting her father on the other side. And when I asked, can you say that again? Now you can barely hear this, you actually have to put on headphones to hear this. But we did pick up a female's voice sarcastically saying, not again. So she did sound happy. Can you say that again? So was her spirit trapped here, or was she just trying to scare people away from the water? Whatever the case may be, after feeling her emotions of happiness and being at peace, I think maybe, just maybe, after she saw that me and Paul were standing in the middle of the pond, that she finally realizes now that the pond is dried up and no one's going to drown like she did. So it might be safe to say I finally helped her soul move on.